And welcome back to the Quirk Creation Series. This Creation Series Quirk comes to us from Gadju World, who asked the question, what is Madara Uchiha's Quirk? So this was one of the things that I had to stop and think about, because we know quirks can be inherited, we know they can be a family trait, all that. Uh, they will evolve and change over time. So I thought what we could do with the Uchiha's as a whole is basically have them all have the same base quirk, but their awakening would be a representation, basically, of their Mangekios. I think that kind of works. So, Madara's quirk name would be Sharingan, or Pinwheel, I believe it is. Pinwheel Eye, to be surprised. Sorry. His villain name, because it would be... He would start out with uh, a Hiranan, because he did, didn't start out as an evil person, but he would eventually go over to the dark side. Would be maybe the either the Dark Shinobi Lord, or the take out the dark shinobi and just say shinobi king or something like that now its actual effect of this version of the sharingan would be that uh it, has, it basically has all the general abilities it's able to perceive movement uh very quickly able to actually you know keep up copy things make and memorize it to and keep it uh, memorized to a certain degree so any motions any stuff fighting styles you can memorize that and use it effectively after some tra training it would also be able to do what Monoma can do, and copy quirks. However, with training, the effectiveness of the quirks you copy would increase. Uh, like Unlike with Monoma, they would be able to use multiple quirks at once, but but just like Monoma, it wouldn't, they wouldn't have like the best, most competent copy of the quirk. This isn't like all for one, stealing a quirk and having this straight quirk. They are not they would not be able to just say copy all one for all and be like ha 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 well specifically that one doesn't work either with omonoma they wouldn't be able to copy say uh hot was it um fire and ice or hot and cold whatever half hot half cold that's what it is uh they wouldn't be able to copy that to a perfect degree like the level of fire and heat they produce would probably not be the same and their level of control with that would not be as great same with the ice explosive uh bakugo's explosion would not work the same way. Um, edge shots, was it folding quirk or whatever, would not be as effective, wouldn't be able to fold as, great, uh, as well. L also, just like Monoma, I think what we would have to do to, min to kind of not make this as broken as it already is, is that the quirk does fade away maybe after 24 hours. After 24 hours, you no longer have that quirk. And your usage of the quirk probably starts to deterior deteriorate after some time. Now, Awakening, this would be, obviously, the Mangekyo Sharingan, or even the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, depending on, say, uh, the form, uh, or depending on the user. In fact, you could still make the argument that maybe the surgery to transplant an eye into someone exists in the My Hero, because I've never seen that happen, honestly. Although, frankly, if eye transplants existed in My Hero, I have no reason to doubt why I doubt Aizawa getting it. Uh, because it just integrates with his biology, and therefore he should be theoretically able to use his quirk through that eye. But anyway, in um, in all in Madara's case, I do think this probably because we can't use Madara as six as six pass because that had outside interference that was absorbing the tail beast chakra, all of that. So we can't use that Madara's abilities to, for a quirk. What we can do though is use what we have available, and what we do have available is. Basically, it is his Susano. Now, apart from Sasuke, he is the only one to do who ever demonstrated a perfect Susano without the aid of someone else. Kakashi had it, but only because he was able to get Obito's, both of Obito's eyes temporarily. Uh, so, yeah, we, we would not use... But Itachi did not have a truly perfect Susano. He didn't. Uh, he had a very... He had a near-complete Susano, but um, he did not have a perfect Susano. Like, the full... Uh, Teg, was it Tegu, Tengu, uh, Masked Samurai, he didn't have that. So, it wouldn't manifest as such. It would also, I mean, it wouldn't be as, say, large as the one he has in the series, which is bigger than most buildings. Uh, but we're talking probably still like a 30, 40 foot high being, which is still very tall. Uh, it would be, it would be composed of energy, his own life force energy, chakra, if, if you were. Any of his any of the quirks that he uh, that he has copies or continues to copies could be emula emulated through the Susano. Also, his ability to copy quirks 
would probably increase. Uh, God knows how full his control probably would increase, but he would still have the same weakness that he would not hold on to the quirks forever. This is probably why if he ever, like him and All for One, if they teamed up, All for One never would attempt to steal his quirk because it just, there'd be no point to it. Uh, but the, you know, even without the copying of the quirks, the uh, Susano would still be destructive, so be careful doing a lot of damage. The weakness once the quirk is awakened, though, is very obvious. The progressive loss of eyesight. Uh, he, Madara would not want to be overusing, say, the Susano part of his quirk, uh, because it would just quickly cause him to go blind. And this would be the inherent weakness to every Uchiha we'd ever have on this series, is that once they had the Mangekyo phase of their Sharingan, they have to be very careful how they use it because they will slowly start to go blind. Uh, so that is my opinion on what Madara Uchiha's quirk would be. Now, we might see mirrors of other quirks. In fact, I might even make the argument some quirks like Sasuke's, for example, or, um, or Itachi's could very well be similar to that. But because they've also demonstrated other abilities outside of just the Susano when using the Mangekyo, we might be able to do something different with them. We'll see. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you folks next time.